So Daniel Miller, president of Texas Nationals Movement, the TNM, has urged Governor Greg Abbott to significantly expand and fully militarize the Texas State Guard if President Biden uh, federalizes the Texas National Guard amid the border crisis. Miller stated, if Biden federalizes the Texas National Guard, Greg Abbott should immediately throw enlistment and Texas State Guard wide open, fully militarize them, and deploy them as border protection force along the entire border. The Texas State Guard, which currently comprises around 1,900 personnel, could potentially serve as an alternative border protection force as it cannot be federalized by law and remains under the sole authority of the government of Texas. In contrast, the Texas National Guard, with roughly 23,000 personnel, could be federalized. So this is Abbott responding. Rob, if you can zoom in a little bit. So federal government has uh, broken the compact between the United States and the states. The executive branch of the United States has constitutionally duty to enforce federal laws protecting states, including immigration laws, on the books right now. Biden has refused to enclose those laws and has even violated them. The result is that he has smashed records for illegal immigration, despite having put a notice on a series of letters, one of which I delivered to him by hand. President Biden has ignored Texas's demand that he has performed his constitutional duties. President Biden has violated his oath to faithfully execute immigration laws enacted by Congress, instead prosecuting immigrants for federal crime or of uh, illegal entry. President Biden has sent his lawyers into federal courts to sue Texas for taking action to secure the border. Number two, President Biden has instructed his agencies to ignore federal statutes that mandate the detention of illegal immigrants. The effect is illegal, uh, illegally allowed their en masse parole into the United States by wasting taxpayer dollars to tear open Texas border security infrastructure. President Biden has enticed, enticed illegal immigrants away from the 28 legally entry points along the state's southern border bridges where nobody drowns. And by the way, if you watch this video, uh, and before we play this video, Vinny, can you give us a little bit of context on who this person is okay. in the video that's crossing a okay. border? Okay, and Pat, can I just really fast, like, of course, yeah. shout out to the governor of Texas, finally, stepping It's about time. It is about, yeah, I, I, it's about I, time. a little bit too late. But, yo, if you got a problem about that, yo, you're the problem, okay? Because think about it. Texas is damned if it does and damned if it doesn't, all right? First of all, they've been wanting to open border for this past four years, right? Then the governor's like, you know what? We have too much of an influx. I'm going to start shipping these people to the sanctuary cities, to Martha's Vineyard, to New York, all these places. And what the people now, we're looking at what's happening. Now, when he's trying to put up a barbed wire, the, think about this. The president's administration, the government is saying, how dare you try to protect yourself? We want this influx of people to keep coming in, all right? And Pat, if you don't mind, can I just say that the study, the Yale University released a study by three researchers saying that the number of illegals isn't 10, it ain't 12, it's 22 million illegals are here, okay? And now the Democrats are pushing for them to become citizens to vote. Remember last week with AOC, she said, um, why don't we just, you know how you solve it? Just give them all citizenship. Give them a path to citizenship. Yeah, that was on the Daily Show. I believe. All right. That would add to our voter roll 22 million permanent electoral majority voters. Okay. And that would, that's what this entire thing is about. I want everybody to know this. It's not about humanitarianism. It's not about AOC next to the fence and bullshitting you, trying to lie like they care about these people. It's votes. That's all it is. Okay. And now, just to give you guys a heads up, remember I said this, that all these terrorists that we caught, 165, Here's a, here's a video that Rob's going to play of a Middle Eastern guy. And I can tell he's Middle Eastern because I'm Middle Eastern. I can tell from the accent. Look what he's saying. His name is Mavzam. This is what they're saying. Mavzam Samadov. He's the leader of the Islamic terrorist group from Azerbaijan Islamic Party. He's a convicted terrorist and arms dealer. People are saying this is him. They put a picture next to him. It looks exactly like him. And look at what he says coming into our border in Texas about what he's going to do to America. Go ahead, Rob. From? Are you going to take where I'm from uh, by force? No. So I will right. not tell are you where you? I'm from. So these are, are the people that these are, are the people that question? these no. are the people no. that are breaking why, into why? your country, you folks. Ask me, I you. Ready for his attitude? What, what this? Ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. These are the people right here. That kind of attitude. Why? Why? Let me uh, educate you. you. It's, it's a, open. I'm it's a so tripod. You hold the camera. I need my family. So you see, there you go. Watch. Violence. So there you go. These are the There's people that are coming in. in. The ones laughing. No, no. You didn't know it's very easy to find my face, by the way. If you are smart enough, you will know who I am. Look. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're going to know who I am. 
What? Wow. So Vinny, who is this guy? Hold on. Okay. So, f- Google his name and put it right next to the video. Okay. And it's can a, we see his face? Ma- yeah. Mavzam Samadov. And, like, and here's the thing, guys. Regardless. Go to images. Uh, that's the guy. Wow. That's him. Now, now, let me say something to everybody up there. Yeah. When somebody is saying to you, I do, I got goosebumps. Soon you will know yeah. who I am and who the hell my name is. Is the FBI, do you think the FBI is looking for this guy? Absolutely not. That's, and that's another layer on top of this. They want all these votes and they let these people in. God knows because they know. They give them cell phones. They give them money. What if, God forbid, it, this is all a plan where they go, okay, this is, we want you to do this. We Vinny, want you let to me do- ask you a couple of questions. Uh, where is this guy from, allegedly? He's Azerbaijan. Yeah, okay. He's from, he's, and that's in, he's, they call him crossing the border, right? The Texas border that the government, hold on, that our okay. government, yes, is fighting to. So to let me ask you, leave Azerbaijan, up. when you're crossing the border, where is Azerbaijan in Latin America? Is that near Colombia? Is that near? Uh, Actually, Adam, it's Where is nowhere, that near? In Guatemala? Adam, where is Adam, Azerbaijan exactly? It's on the other so, side of the world currently yeah. persecuting there, Armenia. Where, so, Tom, Vinny, where is Azerbaijan? It borders Armenia, and what, what Azerbaijan is fighting what? Armenia, and they're doing a genocide. Yeah. Hold on. Can you pull that? Yeah. So it's not even in Latin America. No, 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 Adam. So Azerbaijan no, is in is in the Middle East, in Europe area. 100%. So why would a guy from Azerbaijan be crossing through the Mexican border, Vinny? I, and I'll tell you why, Adam. Please explain. I'll tell you why, especially with that attitude, because he wants to cause harm and death to this, to yes. this effing country. And that's why I am so pro what Governor Abbott is doing. Mm-hmm. God bless him. And, bro, finally the people are stepping up, bro. If they're, Remember I said this. There's no left. There's no right. It's them against us. And and shame on the government for stopping them from protecting their border. Like, bitch, this isn't this isn't happening in Washington. Correct. The people of Texas, dude, they're fed up with the bullshit. What is going what are we talking Vinny, about? Vinny, obviously I was being sarcastic. I know you were. I know. So, you. But here's where I want to back you up on, all right, bro? I think it was being serious. Yeah. I <laughs> what it's there's one Venezuela. there's one thing for AOC to see all oh, these migrants, they're coming through, you know. It's kids, it's baby, you know, they they're looking for a better life. Yeah. Why the hell are Middle Eastern literal terrorists L- crossing the freaking border? You, uh, uh, you explain me, this to me. Explain it to me. The why? people at the border. And, and mind you, we caught 160. Explain that. No, there is no explanation. Exactly. And so and, and here's my thing. If God forbid this piece of shit does something and kills Americans, I'm telling you right now, Mayorkas and all these guys. They, they're not going to be, yeah. but the American people, we have to hold these pieces of trash. Aren't they trying to uh, impeach Mayorkas? Adam, trying just like Fauci, just like Fauci, who right now is retired, but guess what he has? Secret Service protection, Tom. Diplomatic immunity. Our, our, our tax dollars are protecting that little rat. Because he knows they, they, he, they, he did his By the way, this guy, this guy uh, was the head of the Islamic Party of Azerbaijan who served mm-hmm. 12 years in prison and was re- released January of 2023. Go to his Wikipedia, Rob. Let's, let's learn about him a little that bit. What are the chances him. that this was the guy at the I border? Think it, Is it highly very likely? Close very him. close. Yeah? Even very close. Pat, can, we, can you yeah, show I'm that? Gonna, let the audience this, see and, what this and, is. And and this is very concerning. These aren't just innocent Guatemalan and, guys no. just trying to escape poverty here. And Adam, God, Why the hell are people from Azerbaijan crossing the Mexican border? And Adam, even get ready for this. Rob, look at the one I just sent you. And even if it's not him, guess what? Do you That threat? That's yeah. a threat from a guy from the Middle East. Are you effing kidding me? And guess what we're going to say if, if he does something? There's a failure of intelligence. Again, they're going to say failure of intelligence. Bullshit. That's the intelligence. How have they not tracked his ass down and be like, who the hell are you? Why are you in the country right Adam, now? Adam, you know why? Because they're going after Nanas that were at January 6th still. The FBI is too busy to worry about this. Piece. Zoom in. This the How guy? much does that look like him? Pretty close Going to, to the me, left? Pat. That's, the, to me, that's I it. mean, that's pretty, pretty damn close. similar. But obviously on the right, he looks more tan because he's been he's crossing been the, the border yeah. in the I, sun. And again, regardless of if it's this guy, the threat, the threat of soon you will know who I am means he's going to do something that's like going to give him notoriety. And what do you think it's going to be? He's going to open up a Starbucks? But even, no, he wants to blow shit up. Even if he's up. not that guy... Why is this guy crossing the border anyway? Because it's wild. Azerbaijan yeah. isn't right below Texas. Exactly. Adam, because they <laughs> Adam, guess what? Because if you're a terrorist, you want to do harm, guess what? All you have to do is turn on the news, wide open border. Wide open. It's it's disgusting. I mean, I, I'm shout out to Texas. I, I love the border it. is so complicated, but it does I would always wonder, why don't the states do something about it if the federal government wouldn't do something about it? Could, like, oh, it's it's federal territory. It's like, but the states also. Okay. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.